Charlotte Flair defending against Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. Double natural selection. Flair wasted no time now. Oh, Trevor down. Oscar wipes out Jax. Baszler sending Oscar over an else test. Uh oh, look at the queen. Flair takes out the challengers. Woo! Oh no, the nature boy Ric Flair. I know Charlotte knows she's going to end this now. What did Rick just hand Lacey? Charlotte, Oscar, what's your mindset heading into this match tonight after the roles that Lacey Evans and your father, Ric Flair, played in costing you the tag team titles last night? So Lacey may think she's learning how to play dirty and use my dad to elevate her career, but she knows what will happen if she steps into the ring with me. And uh, she may turn my dad's head. She's not playing mind games with me. Honestly, I just feel bad for my mistake last night. I feel bad that I let down my tag team partner, Asuka, and, and my drama got in the way. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I will speak myself. Uh, I'm not happy we lost, but I, Asuka was ready. But if it wasn't for the destruction of Charlotte's father and the woman, We'd have won. It, yeah, right, right. No. Yeah. The the only thing on my mind is winning the tag team championships back. Do not again. Is that the queen and the empress are are refocused on the task at hand? Just a glimpse of how frustrated you can tell Oscar is after what happened last night. Well, how can she not be? Those unforeseen circumstances that Oscar had to face and Charlotte for that matter, but you can't dwell on it. You gotta move forward. The following contest is a triple threat tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair! Charlotte Flair and Oscar will face Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke as well as the team of Naomi and Lana in a triple threat tag team match. The winner earns a future WWE Women's Tag Team title opportunity against the new champions Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. This match is live next. This year's Girl Up Scholarship Fund winners have made tremendous impacts in their communities, and we are happy to support the scholarship again in 2021. Head to girlup.org for information on this year's scholarship application. Welcome back here to Monday Night Raw. We are set for a triple threat tag team match. The Queen Charlotte Flair ready to be joined by her tag team partner. Japan. She is the Raw Women's Champion, Asuka! Well, we saw before the commercial break how overcome Asuka was with emotion in losing the women's tag team titles because of the involvement of Lacey Evans and Ric Flair in the loss of the tag team titles by Flair and Asuka to Jax and Baszler. Look at it. It's one thing to just lose those tag team titles to Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler, but if you're Charlotte Flair and if you're Asuka, you're sitting there and you're going, we lost those titles because Ric Flair and Lacey Evans essentially tried to sabotage our match. But it's a hard pill to swallow. And listen, Charlotte Flair owned it. She said, my drama got in the way. It's written all over Charlotte Flair's face. But my question, Joe, is for Asuka. Now that we know Bianca Belair is the winner of the Rumble, the Royal Rumble match, that means Belair can challenge the either Raw or SmackDown Women's Champion at WrestleMania. Could Asuka be in the crosshairs of Bianca Belair? Oh, she very well could be, and rightfully so. I mean, when you talk about an athlete like Bianca Belair, she is an ever-present threat to whoever she decides to challenge come WrestleMania. And their opponents... First, the team of Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke. Both these superstars had the opportunity to compete in last night's women's Royal Rumble match, but Byron has of late have been trying to make some noise in the tag team division. Well, the 
for uh, Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke encountered some unfortunate injuries. Uh, they were making inroads in the tag team division. Many people uh, proclaimed that perhaps they would be future women's tag team champions. Those injuries caused by the current tag team champions, Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax. He Surprising returns of last night's Royal Rumble. Another superstar was sidelined by Jackson Baszler. Yeah, I'm glad you pointed out the one of because here is a, another surprising return from last night at the Royal Rumble. The glow is back on Raw. What an effort. I and mean, Naomi, for being out for a couple months to come back and have that kind of performance, just remarkable. And earlier today, Naomi and Lana explained what's driving both of them in this triple threat tag team match tonight. Six weeks ago, Nia and Shayna took me out of the most important match of my life. You can mock me, you can injure me, but you will never stop me. And now I'm back pursuing the women's tag titles. But this time, I'm not alone. I know what it's like to be stuck watching from the sidelines, but I'm here now, and you can depend on me. If we work together, we can make Nia and Shayna feel all the glow. Our two superstars have become very close friends over the years here at WWE. In fact, that all started from Lana at one point challenging Naomi for the SmackDown Women's title a few years ago. Yeah, her Naomi respect. I don't know about you guys, but I think there's a lot of potential with this tag team of Naomi and Lana. Plenty to prove, but this is a triple threat tag team action. Two teams will be represented at once, and you have to tag anybody in, Joe. That's the thing about this, is that Charlotte Flair, for instance, could tag in Dana Brooke or Mandy Rose. They would be legal, but Charlotte Flair would have to exit the match. And ideally, you would not want to tag into a team that wasn't uh, amicable to your aims. And, oh, unfortunately, that's every team in every corner. Unless you were desperate, had to make a tag. And no countouts, no disqualifications either. First team to gain a pinball oh, wow. submission in the ring will challenge Jackson Ooh. Baszler for the women's tag team titles down the line. Charlotte Flair, oh. that's the incredible athleticism of Naomi. <laughs> and take a look at who's watching the now two-time women's tag team champion Shayna Baszler on the left, Nia Jax on the right, both of which competed in the Women's Royal Rumble match. Last night, and a tag made Mandy Rose has tagged herself in. That means Flair has to exit. Mandy Rose and Oscar had the same idea. They're both going for a drop kick. And Asuka had to make a tag as well. Oh, so Naomi's out. Here's the cover. Oh. Asuka nearly atoned for what happened last night for her team. On a tag made, and Dana Brooke is now illegal. And Lana made a tag as well. You got to pay attention to where you're hitting those ropes. Look at Lana. Oh, now Lana trying to pin Dana Brooke and a kick out. And Lana got a measure of payback last night at the Royal Rumble match. Enter number 26. She told me earlier today she waited to get in the ring until Nia Jax entered the Rumble. Lana eliminated Nia Jax. I mean, imagine what you just said, said Tom. Who would have ever oh. imagined that Lana, of all people, would have eliminated Nia Cover. Jax? Mandy Rose for a title opportunity and saved by Asuka. I don't show, a lot of people don't give Lana the credit she deserves. We have to admit, at this point, I mean, Lana, she just may have Nia Jax's number. Oh! I don't know about that. Ever since uh, 2019, Nia Jax at the Royal Rumble that night took away Lana's opportunity to compete in the Rumble and then ruined Lana's chance to compete alongside Asuka for the tag team titles last month. Yeah, like, 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 like I said, Tom, she may have remembered. I didn't say it was good for her health. Oh, oh, oh down goes Asuka. And Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke show what they're capable of. Who's going to earn a women's tag team title opportunity? This match rolls on.